We'll come back. Well, Apple's latest lineup of iPhones will boast better cameras, faster processors, and a longer-lasting battery, but all at the same price as last year's models, despite inflationary pressures that has driven up the cost of many other every, every, everyday items. Metric Globe's Audrey Medoto has more. With inflation still... With inflation still hovering at its highest level in 40 years, consumers have curbed their spending on many discretionary items, which is likely to contribute to a decline in smartphone sales. For several years, Apple's new iPhones have mostly featured incremental upgrades to cameras and battery life, and this year's models were no exception. Pricing for the standard iPhone 14 starts at 799 US dollars, while the deluxe iPhone 14 Pro Max will start at 1099 US dollars. Like the Pro line isn't we're going to be where the average consumer goes, but they've put incredible functionality, you know, into the new iPhone 14 as well as all the way down into the SE line. So it's it's always going to be an impressive lineup. And I think, you know, they're they're meeting their target of having a device for anyone, regardless of what your budget may be. The pricing decision came as a surprise as many analysts predicted that Apple would have increased prices by 15 percent to offset many cost of components. By keeping iPhone prices the same, Apple faces the potential risk of undermining its profits if inflation continues to drive up its own costs. Despite this hit, Apple has already amassed 44 billion U.S. dollars in profits through the first half of this year. On one hand, I think they're aware of the economic headwinds that we may be going into, right? There was a lot in Tim Cook's talk about the, uh, the things that we need, the essentials, the convenience, the things that have to be part of our day-to-day -day life because we need them for health. It's part of who we are day-to-day. -day. So I think there was a lot of emphasis on that. And I think the other thing they did is they did keep a lot of the phone prices flat, you know, compared to last year. And However, research firm International Data Corporation expressed that the average price for new smartphones is expected to finish the year about 6% higher than last year. But this has not stopped Apple consumers. An estimated 106 million iPhones have been sold in the first half of this year, with an 8% increase from the same time last year.